welcome to One on the Podcast. I'm your host, Adon. And, you know, New Year's coming. And we're ready to start doing this thing for all y'all out there, for the Blue family, all law enforcement across the nation. So, um, today, in today's video, I have a simple question to ask to all those people that are, are uh, listening to this podcast or those who are watching it. And my question is as follow. Why are people nowadays so mad at each other? Why is it that everybody, for some reason, wherever you go, wherever you walk, wherever you driving, it's like everybody's mad at something. I don't know if they mad at themselves, I don't know if they mad at you, if they mad at the society, if they mad at the war. I don't know exactly what it is. But for some reason, every time you go out there and you know you bump into anybody out there, you apologize, you say sorry, or anything like that. For some reason, people tend to be so violent. Like everybody wanna fight, everybody wanna argue for any little reason. It's like they need picking to see you know who gonna be the next for them to grab you and you know say whatever they want to say vent in a way express themselves in a bad way no manner no respect no it's it's like we living nowadays like in a jungle and the funny thing is that you know even though you try to be the 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 person who try to defuse the situation or solve the situation, they look at you like you have four head. Even when you apologize, even when you say sorry for whatever reason, people want to argue and fight for everything. It's like you can even make a line in the supermarket because for some reason people always going to find some, some sort of way to build an argument, to build some sort of discussion, some sort of argument, dispute over stupidity. And this is a time that is supposed to be, you know, a time of reflection, a time of, you know, uh, you know, be with your family, spend time with your, you, with your loved one and all that type of thing. But it seems like people don't really care anymore. They don't really care anymore. It's like, like a jungle. It's a truly, truly, truly jungle. jungle. And sometimes you ask yourself or you wonder why are people acting like that? You know, what's what's the reason behind it? Is it something biblical? Is it something prepared? Is the society, you know, getting to the edge or what it is? Is it, this is the end? It, you you can't even tell what it is. But for some reason, the way people are acting nowadays is crazy. There's no respect for anybody. There's no respect for law enforcement. There's no respect for parents. There's for parents. There's no respect for the teachers at school. There's no respect for anybody. And it's crazy. And then you wonder what's going on. What? Why are people so mad at each other? Why people want to fight and argue for everything? Like, come on. It's supposed to be Christmas. It's supposed to be the time where you know you sit down and you recalculate about your whole life, you know, you think about the whole, you know, uh, the whole, like the whole um, journey about your life. You know, this is the time for you to sit down and think about your journey. What was the things that you accomplished do, during the year? What are the things that you, you know, enjoy more? What are the things that you wish to have more time to accomplish and all that stuff? But apparently people doesn't care about none of that stuff anymore. Everybody's mad. Mad at what? Mad at themselves? Mad at each other? Mad at what? Because to be honest with you, I do have my days like everybody else, but there's no reason for me to, you know, vent or blame anybody else out there for whatever situation I've been going through. My situations are different than Everybody, you know, everybody has different situation. You know, some some people have financial situations. Some people have um, 
mental health situation. Some people have health situation. Some people have money situation. And there's some, you know, there's a tons of things out there. But if you ask yourself, or if you sit down in a quiet place and you ask yourself, what's going on? Why are people so mad at each other? Why are we living this way? Why are we living this world like that? You know, especially this month, you know, this is, this, this is supposed to be the month for people to, you know, enjoy the most. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand what is it that are, you know, what's going on, you know, it's everywhere. It's a work, a school, out, out there on the street, sometimes even with your own family, you know, like you can really, I don't understand. And if anybody know what's going on, you know, let me know <laughs> down below. Should I come and say something? It seems to me, for, for me, it seems to be like something pretty much biblical. Even though some people do not understand or they don't want to believe or they don't believe. But I, it's, it, it, I have to be, it have to do with something biblical. Like the whole thing that we're seeing nowadays, like the whole how the war act, is acting, how people are acting out there, how people behave, the behavior in youth. And adult, and you know, it's everybody. Everybody, it's like there's no love, you know. Like, what happened with love? What happened with uh, hope? What happened with passion? What happened with uh, forgiveness? What happened with surrender? Are those things still exist, or they just faded out? They just vanish? That people don't really want to, you know behave and I'm not talking just about whoever are listening you know I'm not just talking about people listening I'm talking about in general in general including myself sometimes you go out there you know and for some reason some you bump into anybody for whatever reason and just that little bit just that little bump is just the match, the this, this, this start off for people argue, for people dispute, and all and all that craziness. You know what I'm saying? So um, let's try to behave better. You know, let, let, let's try to understand each other as human beings. We don't have to wait for something like 9-11 happen to happen again for us to understand that we count on each other, for us to understand that when I open the door in the building, I'm supposed to hold it for the person coming behind me. We don't have to wait for something like that to happen again, to come to realize that we are human beings and that we all made mistakes and that we all have our days to, you know, vent some sort of way with anybody. But let's just try to behave. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I hope everybody... Uh, agree with me and you know when you go out there be the diffuser be the peacemaker don't be the start off don't be you know don't be the the engine to go and do craziness because sometimes those little things even though we don't believe it or we don't understand those little arguments could lead us to something bigger than what it is and that turned normally into violent and that's what we don't want so stay tuned for more hope you enjoyed this monologue and see you next time